Our customers have started asking those questions. Previously, 80% uh, of the production was blast furnaces and only 20% was arc furnaces, and today it's the reverse. Which means electricity rates are a very significant cost for us. Alton Steel uh, was originally founded as Laclede Steel in the early 1900s. We are located in Southern Illinois, just up the Mississippi River from St. Louis. Since we operate an electric arc furnace, our energy usage uh, is significant. So we started looking into solar projects to be more efficient and economical. When we found that e cells is the largest domestic solar panels company, and all the panels were made in the United States, that helped to make our decision even easier. We provided tax credits to encourage companies to buy solar panels made in America. We do like seeing you know, the products that we use made in America, but on top of that, with the uh, IRA Act, that also made it possible for added tax incentives, which really helped make the Q-Cells total package even more competitive. Being American-made is very important. On the federal level, there are uh, tax credits that support it, and as well on the state level, there are renewable energy credits that help to support a project like this. But with those credits, that will certainly provide a financial benefit. First step is five megawatts. The number of panels is about 11,000 solar panels. It covers about 12 acres of our property. We signed a 25-year power purchase agreement with Q-Cells. They will own and operate this project for us, and we will buy 100% of the energy that is generated from this project. And initially, the savings are in the hundreds of thousands of dollar range, and over the course of the 25-year agreement, as you'd expect power prices to continue to uh, increase due to inflation and other reasons, really the savings will increase as we, as we progress through that period. And by the time we reach the end of that 25-year period, we would have received millions of dollars in savings versus what our cost would have been had we been on the grid with uh, utility for, the, for that portion of our usage. Our total energy costs, we're in the 15 to $20 million range. We're a steel mill with revenues of around $150 million. So, you know, 10 to $15 million of energy is, is a very big part of our cost base. This 25-year project really locks in some, some affordable energy costs for us uh, over that entire period and really helps to offset some of the, for the costs that we would otherwise have to source from the grid. And this also helps move us along in that journey to even lowering our CO2 emissions to even a lower level. Our target would be to get down to zero carbon emissions when we make our, a ton of steel. We'd certainly hope to be able to install additional solar farms within this area. And we'd like to see that pan out here into the future. Customers have started asking a lot about what have you done in order to reduce your energy footprint and what are the sources of your energy. 